there's no proper words that you could tell a parent when their child is dying and they're sitting by their bedside and they feel helpless. No matter what you say, words cannot take the reality away. Rather that they need is just somebody to, to show them love and that's what I want to do. Our church is a huge donor to an orphanage in Ukraine during the Chernobyl effect when the nuclear plant exploded. There's a lot of kids that are still born today with a lot of uh, deformities, different type of cancers. And I decided to go on my trip to Ukraine. I went to the orphanage. I was shocked. A blind girl just ran towards me out of nowhere. And it was just something that moved me inside. I, I did not know what was happening with me. She opened up my heart and I decided that I needed to question who I am as a person. I quit my job at J.P. Morgan and I decided to pursue chaplaincy. <laughs> and from then everything was history. Naturally, Adrian is a people person. He's a magnet. People just gravitate to Adrian. He's extremely friendly. He always has a smile on his face, but also he has such a gentle, tender heart to the diagnoses, the issues that his patients go through. He suffers with them to the point where he literally asked one of his nurses to put a nasogastric tube in so that he knew what it would feel like. So he came to me and he said, um, the little girl has to have an NG tube placed. Um, and I, I just, I wanna know what she's gonna feel. It made my heart melt just a little bit because he makes everyone feel that they're important to him. I was diagnosed today a year ago and um, I've been admitted basically since then. But I had here, I had braids. And he said he was going to shave off his head. And I said, Agent, don't you dare do that. Please do not bulge yourself. He cut it. He cut it from me. Everybody in our system provides excellent patient experience and customer service. But I don't know anybody that embodies it as much as Adrian does. Agent is a big kid. Agent is a big kid. We would always play games and we would do cool stuff on the floor all the time. Like there's the baby wagons. So one day me and Agent had the idea that, hey, maybe I should jump in it. So we went around the unit and speeding and doing crazy things. And we was like, oh my goodness, what's this guy doing? But we're in a kid's hospital, we do what kids do. We got in trouble for it. But he makes you happy and he makes you kind of forget your whole hospital situation, your health situation. It makes it easier. He just wants to let you know he's here for you and that he's praying for you and he will do anything that you need. And some of the kids, when I see them, they're fighting more for their parents than for themselves. Most of them never complain. It's about love, humility, compassion, and care. It's unconditional. <laughs>